What is up guys here with another Minecraft tutorial. This time I'm going to be showing two things. I'll explain what the other thing is when we get to it, but first I want to show this. This is how to make a ceiling light. I'll press the switch. And I'll show you how the mechanics work and then you can just the switch brings that back so and I'll show how it is really dark in here this could be like for a room and like oh I can't see shit you fucking suck at making torches it can be up oh. suck my dick and it's like oh man so yeah you can impress a lot of people with that I think I, there are videos on YouTube showing this I'm not sure if they do show a tutorial, it could be like elevators where they just are like stuck up nerds and just fucking show you how cool it is, don't include a tutorial. I'm not like those people because it's really fucked up how, you know, they create something so cool yet they don't create on how to do it. So I'm going to show you how it works. So this was the last thing that I built. So first, obviously you got to have... It doesn't matter how many you need, but you could just say, let's say three. So you have three here, three pistons, three sticky pistons. You need sticky pistons for this. There are no pistons involved, but sticky pistons are definitely needed. Next, you need you need the wall, obviously, to make it look dark, or you need a room of some sort. Next, you need the glowstones to obviously make it light. Otherwise, it's not really a light switch. And I would say 64 redstone because this is. I didn't use any of that. This is still left over from this current. And uh, I would say about 10 repeaters. In depending on how big you want to build it, that goes into a uh, redstone, obviously. And it goes into the repeaters also. So, this is how it works. Basically, you can build a block over here and you can put redstone on it and that actually activates the pistons and so it comes over here the current and the current goes here make sure the arrow is pointing this way and not facing the other way otherwise it will not work trust me it will not work now I'm gonna explain this part also I'm sorry I'm, re I'm re not really good at explaining how this worked this sort of just popped in my head and I made it work. It was a miracle. So basically with this you do want to delay this as much as possible because if you don't delay it this will not work like I can show you. So let's make this all like that, right? Watch what happens. That won't work. And then that happens. So you see, it gets it gets really messed up. So you don't want you don't want that to happen. Let me just get that back. See, the whole thing's like really fucked up. That's why. And I'll explain that second current. Okay, so always and make it at three to delay it as much as possible, so that way it gets it to how I got it before. It's like that. Uh, I'm not fixing that. Fuck that. Now, before I had this current, before this L was here, it used to be just like this. Just go to here. Now, the problem was it would be too fast and the glowstone would get pushed down also as it was shown here. And you don't want that to happen because then obviously it's not a light switch, it won't work, turn on again. So I was like, well, I need to build a, a faster current. So that way it could go to here because this acts as an, I guess you could say an inverter. So once that turns off, this redstone torch turns on and activates these pistons that go through here. I know it's a lot to absorb, your brain must be exploding right now, I'm sorry, but I'm trying my best to explain this 
Uh, it's good to use a repeater here because obviously the redstone will not go farther. There's... I'm not sure if this is needed. I just keep it here because everything's very exact and I don't want to fuck up anything here. So... You may not need this, but I would put it just to be safe. Also depends on how you're building this. The reason why I made it like here and made the switch on the left was because the torch was there and it would be really extending it and you can't really uh, cover it up. That was kind of also how, how I was building it to make it look good and to cover it up so that way people won't see the currents and it doesn't look ugly and nothing's exposing. So I will show how this actually works. So as it turns on, it's turned off, that goes there. Now that activates when all this goes off. Then this redstone redstone torch comes on. And this turns on, goes through there, and activates all those pistons. Uh, putting a repeater here won't work. It won't make the red. It won't make the piston that the repeater's on work. So it's best. It's best to just leave redstone there. Don't put any repeaters unless you're thinking of um using two blocks and then putting repeaters there that could work but it's best to just leave it like that so that redstone torch is on once the switch is off and then turn it on and the dirt would be there but of course you know what let me fix it so that way it looks good like I said, I'm not sure if there are tutorials on this, and if there are, it's pretty cool if you include a tutorial of something that is quite difficult to make. Uh, this probably took an hour and a half to make. So yeah, that was pretty annoying. Uh, uh, no, that's not working because that's there. You know what? Let's... Hold on. Hold on. I'm trying to avoid myself saying do it like this because then people are going to be like, what the fuck? It's uh but I do have to say this try to make try to make it similar to that. Because you know, if there are like easier ways to do this, then by all means go look at that. But I don't think there are any tutorials on how to make like a ceiling light like this. If there are, then good. Uh, okay, so I'm sure this works one more time. That piston gets pulled up, that one comes. And this one's taken out, that one goes. How this works is why this gets pulled faster than this goes down. I had a problem with that. I was wondering why this was going down first and this was uh, coming out second. The reason was because I had to make another current that was way faster than uh, this one here. Because when the only way that this redstone torch would deactivate is if the current went through here and deactivated the redstone torch itself. So, of course, I did need another current, so that's why I created this one to deactivate this one. And while, that's, while this one is deactivated, these pistons are getting activated. I know that doesn't make any sense, but fucking electricity doesn't make sense either. I'll just show it one more time. I wish I could have another screen to show how the currents looked, but that's basically it. I don't know how else to explain this anymore. Um, if you would like a tutorial, like some people have been asking, 
uh, just leave a comment below and I'll see if I can make a tutorial. It won't be an exact replica of this because this did take a while. I'll probably build maybe three pistons just to show how the ceiling light would work. It'd be a lot easier and a little bit more compact. Not like this one obviously because I had a lot of pistons, a lot of lights. Of course it had to be like that. Alright, the second thing to go to, let's turn that off. Gosh, shit. The second that I wanted to go to was this. Uh, I was just working on that. It's just like a double inverter. I don't even know what the fuck I was doing. It was like 1 o'clock in the morning. I was just trying to come up with crazy ideas. Uh, I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay. We have to go back to my house. I had to build pretty far from here. Just a little dispenser trap that I made. Do, do, do. There it is. Circuit inverter. Simple inverter. That shoots something out. That shoots something out. I want to show that, but um, this was requested. Not really requested, but it was asked in the comments. One of my videos, the sliding door video by I don't remember who it was. Sorry. But they did ask, how does this work? And I will show it right now. As you can see, the current is here. There's the current. There's a redstone connected to everything. And then there's a redstone over here. Somewhere. Yeah. Redstone right there connecting, allowing the switch to activate it right now. There you go. Now, how the lower one works is easy. See right here? I added another current going down to the other part. Or the lower switch, to be more specific. Uh, yeah, so basically what I did was... Since this was already going to the switch here, I built the current going over here, made it go down there, and it went down there, till it goes to the switch which is down below, and I can show you that right here. current comes down to here and it goes to this switch hope I made myself clear on that yeah so to that person I did ask that question that is how the second part works the lower switch I mean and if you do have another question, just leave it in the comments. I will get to it and answer it. As long as it's not ridiculous, the request. No, you know what? This will be like SpongeBob. Uh, I forgot how the saying goes. We'll never deny a guest even the most ridiculous request. There we go. It's like that. That's how I'll be like. I'll show off this one last thing. What's that? Ow. Yep, inverters. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like. I don't, I don't ask that, but please leave one if you did like it because. Let me tell you, that's fucking ceiling light took 
a lot of time to figure out, and my hate, my brain was fucking about to burst trying to figure out why the circuits weren't working. So please leave a like, or you can subscribe. I'll have more videos up soon. Can't really say when. I do have a lot of other stuff to do besides this, but I will try to get to making other videos, other other Minecraft tutorials. I think there's going to be an update soon. He said so in August there was going to be another update. Alright, so I will see you later.